morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, let me ask you a question. Have you seen homeless people in Victoria? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, can, you name, can you name some true reasons why these people became homeless? Why? Sorry, can you repeat that question? Okay, we had uh, well. I think they uh, don't have money to pay for home, uh, and uh, they have. Uh, and they have a psychological uh, problem. Yes, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, if they have a problem with, uh, they, have, they are affected with their parents, maybe they are separated or they are affected with some alcohol, they may be to uh, get. Uh, yeah, that's correct. Us, yeah. Okay. Okay. Or maybe financial or mm -hmm. family issues. Yeah, three of them are correct answer. Thank you for your answer, all. Okay, this morning, I will be focused on why people become homeless. For one thing, people become homeless, uh, sorry. For one thing, according to Statistics Canada, there are more than 235,000 unhoused people in Canada. And many of them become homeless due to low wages or unemployment. Let me give you an illustration. It's true that if people lose their job, or if they have uh, low income, they may be exposed to income, to the risk of becoming homeless. Uh, because they may not be able to, be, to afford for uh, renting house, and this can compel them to become homeless. It's true that renting house in British Columbia is expensive, especially for those people who have, who have low uh, wages, and uh, that's why they may uh, become homeless. Human rights shows that unhoused people want to work, however, they face obstacles such as not having permanent address, and they may give up in trying to find a job uh, because, they, because of the not having permanent address. My next point is that having mental health issue can result in can result in homelessness. I make this point because Mental Health Commission of Canada re reported 50% chronically homeless people suffer from mental illness. I imagine that if people are mentally ill they may see homelessness as normal because their brain cannot function properly. To me, having mental illness is one of the worst factors that pushes people to become homeless. The final point I would like to make is that growing up in a dysfunctional or addicted family can result in homelessness. Personally, when I was in my country, I saw that some people left their home since their family or parents did not have close relationship with them. Uh, so, and I believe if, parent, uh, if parents are addicted to either drugs or alcohol and drink or uh, smoke at home in front of their children, their children, children are more likely to be alcoholics or to have addiction problem as a result of that. And there are uh, 11,000 uh, homeless people in British Columbia, and 8,000 of them are addicted to either uh, alcohol and uh, drugs. So that's why I'm saying addiction is one of the big factors that push people to become homeless. In summary, there might be many reasons that compel people to become homeless. However, having a low salary and, uh, or being unemployed, coming from dysfunctional or addicted family, and having mental health issues are more uh, the main reasons that cause people to become homeless. Before I finish my lecture, I have told you that um, the homeless people in Canada is 235,000, and the population of Canada is 8 
38 million. So imagine if we all try to help homeless people to live as we all do, how, how many homeless people would be here in Canada. Personally, if I don't have money, I may help them by psychological, by spending some time with them and listening to their problems. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, yeah, welcome. Well done.